meet you. Let's sit right here. <clears throat> oh. Mom. Mom. <sighs> Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Tell me what you're thinking and feeling right now, Gary. I'm hurt bad. Really bad. What do you what do you have to say? Why? I just I just want you to know that you didn't do anything wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say about his reactions to this? I mean, you, you can see this is very raw for him. What are your feelings about about the impact on on, on your father, Gary? I'm, I'm really hurt. And I'm, I was kind of scared, honestly. Just seeing his reaction, how, I don't know if it was anger or if it was just upset. What do you want from him? I just, I, I just want you to understand that this has nothing to do with how you raised me or anything like that. And I just want you to be okay with I just want you to be okay with me being transgender. Steph, he feels like he's failed as a father. He feels like he, he lets you down. He's gone back to the point of, he says, one time for Halloween. Yeah. Uh, talk about that. He dressed up like a girl. I thought it was funny. At first, no, I certainly don't. And what was the age? High school, maybe. It was, it was during high school. Uh huh. And your reaction at well, the time? I thought it was Halloween. You know, so I just went along with it. Actually, pinched him on his behind and said he made a good-looking girl, but I was only joking. He's not a good-looking girl. He's a very beautiful man. Right. He feels that he's failed you as a father. Do you feel that this is a, a choice you've made? No, I, I've always been like this. I just hid it from everyone. How do you feel about it? I just feel like this is me. This is this is who I am. And That's, how long have you hidden this? As early as seven years old. I don't think he understands the burden that that is, how much energy that takes, how that affects you to live an inauthentic life. Just imagine waking up every day and seeing and being someone that you don't want to be. What do, you, what do you hear in those words? What, what do you hear? I hear confusion. So you hear someone that is confused, mentally ill? Yes. What if this is not a mental illness? What if this individual is pre-wired to be a woman, but in a man's body. Just, I'm saying, what if that is the case? What could you imagine that experience would be like for that person? Pretty hard, pretty hard. 